this video is intended so that you can use Microsoft Excel to produce the appropriate tables and graphs required for the photosynthesis simulation investigation. You should have Microsoft Excel as part of Microsoft Office on your computer. If you do not have Microsoft Office with Excel on the computer, on your computer, please contact DC's IT um, office at ict at dc.edu.hk. They will send you information on how to download a free copy of Microsoft Office, including Excel. We expect you to use Microsoft Excel to, um, to produce your tables and graphs for this investigation. This is a good style of table to use. It has the independent variable and it has um, five variations as you're expected to use. It has the dependent variable, what was measured, the number of bubbles produced by Elodea during a 30 second period. There are three trials and this is supposed data. Be careful. I made this data up and that is not something you should do. It is done solely for the purpose of showing you how to use Microsoft Excel to produce the graphs that you need. Play, pay close attention to the style of this table. However, you need to go from number of bubbles to a rate and the rate is number of bubbles divided by time. I could do this tediously with a calculator, however it is much easier to use Microsoft Excel's um, cal function calculations. This one is relatively easy, it's number of bubbles divided by time. To start any formula, I click into the box, I put want the formula in, I, I press equals, I click on the value. I want to use and I want to divide it by 30 seconds. I just write 30 so that um, Excel is able to calculate it and I get 2.6. I'm lazy. See this little square on the corner of the um, cell. Grab it, drag it down. Grab it, drag it across and you have calculated the rate of photosynthesis for all of your trials. However, do notice it looks ugly. You need to look at the number of decimal places. Please use two decimal places for this investigation by manipulating using these two buttons at the top. You will find them on the home section and again, two decimals please. I now need to calculate the mean. The formula which Excel uses is average but again I want to start a formula press equals. A average start typing it in and it will appear. Ensure you choose A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E. Click on it and highlight the three repeats which you want the mean of and drag this down so that you've got all of them. If you need to, you may need, um, you may need to change these so they have the same number of decimals as you have here in your processed data. It is possible to highlight all of this data and to produce a graph. However, it is much easier to have the two of them side by side and use the data directly from there to produce a graph. If you want, you can just copy these numbers in. But I prefer to use formulas, so equal into the first one. And it's copied in. I drag it down. And the same with the mean. Equal, select the first mean, press enter drag it down. I 
am now ready to produce my graph. I want to graph at these sets of values. I choose insert and there's some recommended graphs here. You want to produce a scatter graph and you choose this one. And this is quite reasonable. You, it is worth checking is, is this graph matching what I need. This goes from 0 to 200 and that matches what I want here so that is quite good. These are whole numbers. These are also whole numbers so we don't need to change the number of decimals. On this side we have chosen two decimal places. There's also two decimal places here. However, you do need to put in a chart title and you should have a meaningful title that relates the independent variable and dependent variable. Something to do with distance and the rate of photosynthesis. There are there are no titles on your on your axes. So you need to choose add chart element, axis title, and first take primary horizontal, which is your X. You can type something in, or you could copy what you already have um, in your data table. The graph is looking better. I need to do the same for the Sorry, I need to do the same for the y-axis. And again, I'm going to simply copy and paste from my data table. I'm at least going to try to copy and paste. That is better. When I make the graph bigger, this will look better. Um, and that's what I'm actually going to do uh, right now. I'm going to bring it down here. And this looks much better on this side now, as does this. I've got data here. I need to add my trend line. So click on one of the data points. Um, and be on chart design choose add trend line choose more trend line options on this one it looks pretty clear that it is a linear um, relationship but that may not be true on your investigation C uh, consider looking at the exponential um, exponential um, uh, versions do not use moving average as I said linear works best in this case and I now have a pretty good graph however I don't want anything negative here in some investigations you do in this one you should not because you cannot have a negative number of bubbles per second so I want to remove this. I'm going to click on this section here and I'm going to um, bring up the pop-up box and I'm going to format the axis. I want my minimum value to be 0, not um, minus 0 0.5 and this graph looks better. Again, um, the biggest value is 2.57, that works, it makes sense. The smallest value is 0 0.09, that works. So I've now got a good graph uh, comparing my conditions. Uh, the one last thing I would like you to do is to add grid lines, both primary minor grid lines and um, primary minor grid lines and this looks like a proper graph now you need to be able to convert these to um, 
these things to Microsoft Excel. While this is opening, you def you definitely need you definitely need the raw data. You will need this data table. No need to take a screenshot. Command C, copy it. Within your Microsoft Word, Command V. However, with the table, I would strongly suggest insert um, caption. Just looking for caption. Sorry, insert caption and put in table one. I've only put in IV related DV, but you need to put in something meaningful for your um, table relating your independent and dependent variables. There is my first table put in. I now need to put in my processed data table. I go back to Excel. I copy the table. And I again paste it into Word. I, I highlight everything in the table and I insert captions. And table two, um, again, relate your independent variable to proce your processed dependent variable. And it should be meaningful. If you need to, you can change this to table three, table four, no problem. Oh, and look at that. I should learn to spell, but it can be corrected easily. You will, you will of course, put in um, your, you will of course put in your qualitative data above table one, but you also want to be able to put in your graph. Go back to Excel, get your graph, Command C, Command V, and you have got a nice table, sorry, nice graph. I would suggest having at least half a page um, for your graph. You might be wondering why I have not copied and pasted this table into micro, uh, Microsoft Word. I don't need to. It is not useful. It was useful only for producing the graph. The two tables which you need to convert from Excel to Microsoft Word or to Google Docs are the table of raw data and the table of processed data including all of the values processed and copy and paste your graph hopefully you will be able to use this video to produce sensible tables and process the data to produce correct graphs this will be linked to the this will be linked to the um, to the document, the task sheet document, and will be available on Classroom.